The robot has been developed to serve as a research material to advance robotics technology at the university. This first of its kind innovation in a public university here is also designed to expand the accessibility potential for people living with disabilities. A humanoid robot is a robot that has a body structure similar to that of a human, including features such as a head, two arms, two legs, and a torso. The university says this humanoid robot demonstrates how technology is evolving in terms of machines that can mimic human movement and capabilities. The robot was acquired from Unitree in China as the company has robots that are programmable. One of the areas that we are quite keen is in collaborative robotics and robotics play a, a big role in our environment where they are able to bring about assistance to humans. So that could be in the manufacturing environment where there's a, a big need for that, uh, but also in the human assistive uh, space. Uh, so with that in mind, our idea was to uh, acquire certain robotic platforms the latest platform we got from the same company is a humanoid. So this is uh, representing human uh, as close as possible in terms of its motion. So it's a two-legged robot, uh, biped robot, and what it tries to do is in motion form uh, mimic the motion of the human. Uh, but the idea is then to also then bring it alongside the, uh, the human to be able to interact with a human machine sort of context. The emotion we do extract from a person, if for example, if a person is happy or angry or even stressed, and, uh, and we do combine uh, those modalities in order to get the right emotion of uh, a person. Uh, for example, what we did is that we we did extract the facial expression of a person and also the voice of a person. The humanoid adds to the institution's mix of AI platforms for teaching and learning that comprise the universal robot platform and a robot dog. Other platforms that we have acquired are a four-legged robot platform, a robot dog. Uh, we call him Dexter. It even has a name. Uh, and the idea was to use the motion of the robot in an uh, assistive kind of format where it comes alongside the human. And we all know in certain situations, you have certain environments that are of risk. So this particular de device is used around the world for firefighting, for example, in mines uh, where you, uh, you have environments that are at risk for the human. And you can basically have these robots go to uh, interrogate what's happening in those environments. The university is still exploring what the humanoid can do before determining how best to implement it. Yulisa Njambada for CGTN in Pretoria, South Africa.